update on the USS the Sullivans. If you've been down by canal side recently, you may have noticed the ship is in a lot better shape than it's been over the past few weeks. Yesterday, you may remember Ron Plants was watching a pontoon being lifted from the Ni Niagara River. Today, he's down at the Naval Park to see how that major project is going. A theme is emerging here with you and your assignments this week, Ron. Yeah, more metal in the water. Could that be a song title? I don't know. Anyway, uh, and by the way, Kate, we just want to point out, you were mentioning uh, the good news with the weather with Maria, certainly good news, as you're pointing out, with USS the Sullivan's behind is here, uh, because considering where the ship was, the dire straits they were in with that terrible list of 20 degrees, now it's actually about 1%, <laughs> one degree of list. That's where they've come with here. We'll give you some details. I will say that there was a press conference here where all these involved, all those agencies involved in writing this ship, that would be city officials, uh, the Coast Guard, and all the salvage people. They took a congratulatory bow, if you will, during their press conference for a job well done, even though we're standing by the stern of the ship. Get it? Anyway, uh, I'm going to have photographer, photojournalist Ben Reed get a little closer to the ship here. As you can see, considering it was underwater, it's in pretty good shape. They've actually been steam cleaning the ship and have making it look much better. And they've also been doing work and trying to make sure that they got artifacts from the ship. Right now, though, if we can pull it up, we have a time-lapse video, if we're able to go to that in the control room. Yeah, this shows you how that ship was down in the water with that 22-degree list, and all of a sudden how they were able to write it. They got out, I'm going to quote here, 585,000 gallons of water removed from this ship. They also had, uh, I don't know the exact amount, but there are also contaminants that they removed from the ship in terms of bunker oil and residue oil that were in there that had spilled out when the ship was actually down in the water. So that has all been taken care of in this joint project between the Naval and Ships Parks Museum, the City of Buffalo, all the salvage crews, TNT, Bidco Marine, they were all involved, as well as the Coast Guard really kind of adopting this ship, maybe as a honorary cutter, if you will, <laughs> trying to make sure that this ship was righted once again. And here's some really good news that we wanted to get for you. They tell us that because of the progress made in righting this ship and securing it, come Memorial Day weekend, they have decided they are going to reopen the Buffalo Naval and Military Park to the public Memorial Day weekend, and they are going allow to allow people to actually go on deck for this ship to be able to see for themselves the progress that was made and how this ship is back in all our glory. You won't be able to go down below decks, but you will be able to be on deck to actually see what they were able to do here with this ship. So with all that good news in mind and actually some sunshine out here as we're sitting on this back patio of Liberty Hound, they had a lot of people out here watching this all throughout. We're going to send it back to you in the studio. Kate? How far they have come. Some good news today. Ron, thank you. Yeah.